What is up, guys? Binku49 here. We are back on the Desolation map. And as you can see, we're out front of Odavs once again. I'm going to do some building for you guys today. I haven't built in a while. I know you guys like the building. I like the building, too. I've been playing a lot of PvP recently. I don't know what it is. This new update has fixed all the issues that were preventing us from playing PvP for so many months. And... Just getting into it, you know. I'm, I got game. These games are just ideas are just coming to me fast and furious. I don't have time to make all the games, but a lot of them have proven to be fun. Uh, I'm gonna bring a lot of them to you through the videos, of course. If you want to get on the, on the PvP, guys, all you gotta do is add me and then join the party. I know I say this over and over again, but I don't think it's sinking in. You don't need to send me a message. I don't really, I read all my messages on Xbox Live, but I don't respond to them because I don't want to type with that silly controller. <laughs> That'd be silly to type out messages with that thing. Anyway, what, let's talk about what I'm trying to build today for you guys. And I'm going into the Odaz Brewery, and even though they're brewing beer here, they're still going to have some corporate offices. And that's what I'm attempting to build here. We're going upstairs. I actually have done a lot of work in the Odabs Brewery. I'm not going to show it to you today because, well, we'll save that for another video. I want to do some building today. I want to really focus on this building because I haven't really shown a lot of building like I just said. <laughs> so I'm going to focus on the building here. I am going in fast forward. You guys know that uh, that's my style these days. I think, uh, I think it works out. I know you guys like it. Get way more done. I noticed Dan Lags is doing it too. It's good to know he's watching my videos. Hey, Dan. What's up? Come play some PvP with us. Speaking of PvP, I know I'm talking a lot about PvP, but I had the great fortune of meeting Big B Stats today. Not only meeting him, but, well, that's not true. I met him the other day. Actually, I met him a long time ago. Not a long time ago. A few months ago, but didn't really get to talk to him. I got to meet him and talk to him extensively and... Wow, it was a great meeting, and it uh, we had a lot of fun. I want to thank uh, Leisure Gaming for putting us together. I want to thank all of you, all subscribers. Uh, Diamond A Team comes to mind. The people who like pestered Big B to come over. <laughs> thank you for pestering Big B. Uh, usually, you you don't get thanked for pestering someone, but I'm thanking you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, Big B came over. He filmed an episode for Creative Cribs. Uh, with Solid and I, and that was a lot of fun. We got to show him just desolation. We showed him all the boroughs. We showed him the, the neighborhood, the barrio. We went to downtown, Aubrey Plaza. We showed him everything. Well, not everything. We didn't go in very many buildings because we didn't have time. It was a pretty long episode. It's going to be multiple parter, it seems like, and I don't know when it's going to come back out. It's probably in a long time. I know Big B likes to record stuff ahead of time, long, long ahead of time. Uh, before he releases it, so that's okay. It's going to be out in a while, I'm sure. Anyway, it was a lot of fun to, to meet him and talk to him extensively. He's super chill, down-to-earth sort of guy. Very professional. He's a lot like his YouTube persona, basically. Which is, you know, very happy and upbeat and positive. And I, it's cool. I like those sort of people. You know, we could all use some positivity in our lives. <laughs> or more positivity. We all have positivity, but we could all use some more. Uh, you can't have too much positivity ever, okay? Um, <laughs> so, oh, we also got to play some PvP with Big B. Oh, that was a lot of fun. We played some Infected. Oh, uh, we did do some recordings. I'm going to have that video for you guys sometime in the future. I don't know when. I have a lot of tape, a lot of video that I have to uh, sort through because I've been take recording a lot these days. Recording a lot. So, cool. Big B is fan i think he's enjoyed himself here and i hope you guys are enjoying yourselves on my youtube channel and this little youtube community i know it's a small community now but i'm sure it'll get bigger and one of the things that i've found to be very enjoyable in minecraft is introducing two people and uh i'm sure that's exactly how you know uh leisure gaming feels when he, he puts people like big b and i together because you know when you play minecraft and you play it at a high level you meet a lot of people and you um, you go into each other's worlds, and you compliment each other, and you give each other criticism and ideas, and you, you become friends because you guys share a similar interest. And Minecraft has is so um, compartmentalized, it's so segmented, and what I mean by that is there's so many things to do in this game. No, you, there's so many things to specialize in. Some of us build redstone computers. 
Some of us build massive city games. Some of us uh, do mini games. Some of us build hunger games. And you know, there's, um, there's some, of, some of us play survival where we put heavy restrictions on ourselves. How do you play Minecraft? What is your specialty in Minecraft? That is a good question for the comment section today, guys. If you ask me, I'd say I'm a I'm pretty good at a lot of different things in Minecraft. I realize I'm a special case. If you guys don't know, like new subscribers, Minecraft is pretty much the only game I've played for the last three and a half, four years. Like, and I play a lot. You know what I mean? I have stopped playing video games altogether besides Minecraft. You know, I dabble. I dabbled in some GTA for a while. And I've also played some Nintendo games with friends. Uh, so, I mean, that's not the only video game I play. I play Clash of Clans. <laughs> I might be uh, joining a clan soon, Diamond. We'll see. And um, so... Yeah, but uh, what I was trying to say is I play just Minecraft. So I've had a lot of time to get good at a lot of things. Uh, I went through a phase where I just wanted to learn redstone and get good at redstone. And that phase came and went. Because <laughs> if you don't practice your redstone constantly, you're going to lose it. It's not like riding a bike. You have to be up on it. And then they keep adding stuff. Like right now, I can't even tell you how to operate a comparator. I mean, I know what it, sort of know what it does. But I can't like just use it in my day-to-day -day redstone life. No, <laughs> that's not how it works with me. Because I forgot everything about redstone. If you don't study it, then you lose it. So I went through a redstone phase, and I went through, a, you know, the survival phase where I just would mine just endlessly, get good at mining. You know, mining is a skill. You know, you have to go down there, <laughs> you have to get to the right level, and you have to do it quickly and efficiently because you're not always going to have a lot of food or a lot of wood when you go down there. Uh, imagine like the start of a survival world or a UHC or something like that. So mining is a skill, and you have to know uh, how to mine efficiently. So you have to know how to look at as many blocks in as little time as possible and really maximize your time and your effort because, you know, you, you might not always have resources for picks. So you have to use your picks as efficiently as possible. So mining is a, a great skill to have, and I'm pretty good at mining. I, I'm really good at mining. I'm always... One of the first to find diamonds, I'm always usually finding a lot of them. <laughs> because I go straight for diamonds, I don't mess around. Every block I take out is an essential block for me to see other blocks. Right, anyway, so uh, I went through a mining phase, went through the survival phase where I started like really building in survival but creatively, like doing massive survival builds without creative mode, without duping by you know g gathering all the resources myself. Um, and then I needed so many resources that I set up an economy where people would pay me stuff. So. <laughs> Yeah, I went through that sort of phase. I went through a brewing phase. Oh, I love the brewing phase. The brewing phase is a lot of fun. You know, basically memorizing all the different uh, um, combinations of things and then actually using those potions in your Minecraft is awesome to give yourself an advantage over other players because of your knowledge of alchemy. It's cool. Okay, what else? I, mean, this, I went through all sorts of phases. Then, of course, I'm now in my creative phase where I'm just going all out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just all out in creative mode and just trying to do something no one's ever done before. And uh, I, I think we, that's where we're, we're headed in that direction. You know what I mean? Because people have built cities and people have furnished cities and in the interiors. But what we're doing, guys, is we are building a massive city with no parks, with no water. It's just a city, boom, on, on a 360 size map. Every single building has an explorable interior that's unique from all the other interiors. All these huge skyscrapers with apartments will all be furnished. And each, each uh, building will have a story, a backstory that you uncover. An adventure mode type backstory in an open world game where there's an objective and you can win the game based on your decisions in this open world game. That's what we're building. Have you heard of anything like this in Minecraft? Oh, man. <laughs> so that's my specialty right now, is bringing something new to this game. Because this game is, what, PC is like five years old now, maybe more. They give us the tools to create. And, you know, if we're just building the same old Hunger Games over and over, we're not really using those tools to the, to the maximum. So use these tools, guys, to make something that you've never seen before. That's what I'm trying to do. And uh, that, that's what I encourage all of you guys to do. And it doesn't really take a lot of in-depth thought. It takes you the motivation, you know? You don't have to be... Like, ideas... Let me... How do I put this? Ideas, they just come to you. You can't control when an idea comes. It just comes. 
What you have to do is make yourself receptive to receiving an idea. And by that, I mean you have to tell yourself, I have good ideas. And if you constantly tell yourself that you have good ideas, then you will have good ideas. They will come. But if you sit here and wallow and you're like, I don't know what to build. I can't, I don't have any good ideas. I'm not good at building, which I've heard a lot from a lot of people. You're probably guilty of this yourself. If you have ever caught yourself saying that, don't. Because if you believe that, then it will be true, right? If you say, oh, I'm not good at building, then you're never gonna really build. And you're never going to test yourself through building. You're never going to encounter an obstacle while building because you're never going to build. So you're never going to encounter an obstacle. And if you never encounter an obstacle, you're never going to improve. So yes, if I can't build, then yes, you're correct. <laughs> okay? But if you tell yourself, I have good ideas and I can build, then there's nothing to stop you. If that's what you want, and it doesn't have to pertain to Minecraft. If you tell yourself, I want to graduate from college, and you always tell yourself that I'm going to graduate from college, then you will graduate from college. That's how it goes. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. That's what, that's what I've learned in my travels. Reality is exactly what you think it is. Ponder that for a moment. I don't think that... People truly understand the power of the human mind and what you are capable of just through thought. Because whether you realize it or not, your brain and your thoughts control your physical body, which controls between the two, it's all the control you have in this world. So, you know, you may think, oh, to hit that home run, I need to have muscles. No, it starts in your brain. And to hit that home run, you have to tell yourself, I can hit a home run. If you tell yourself, I can't hit a home run, your body won't do it because your mind doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, guys. Keep that in mind. I'm not blowing smoke. This is the realness <laughs> advice you're going to get. I'm keeping it real today. Okay, I'm in a good mood. I met Big B and let's talk about that. When I started this YouTube channel, I, I said out loud on my channel, I said, I want to play with Dan Lags and Big B Stats. I said that out loud for the world to hear because it was true. I wanted to play with these guys. I respect what they do and I wanted to meet them and be a part of their community. And in order to do that, I had to believe it would happen. I had to believe it would happen. And I did. I, I told myself, it's just a matter of time. I'm going to do what I do and they're going to see that what I do is pretty cool as I saw what they do is pretty cool. And it'll happen and it did I just got to play with Big B stats I got to play with Dan lags I, I couldn't be happier and this is proof like this is an example a, a real world example that I'm experiencing so this is I'm not joking with you guys your mind is more powerful than you can even imagine <laughs> your mind is more powerful than your mind can fathom okay that is a crazy concept Wow okay uh, enough talking about that. Let me talk about what I built over here because I haven't said a word about it. <laughs> what I'm building is office space. I did talk about it like a little bit, but um, I built three offices for the, the higher ups, and you know this is the office manager, and I don't know what kind of positions. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure that out. Maybe the 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 head head of operations or head of distribution. Anyway, three offices for the higher ups in the company. I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to put the, the chairman, the CEO's office, in this little part of the, of the building just yet. It's probably going to go somewhere else. And then I'm building over here. I'm building a bunch of cubicles. And this is where the low-end people go. You know what I mean? These are where the, the, the poor guys making phone calls or whatever they have to do. I don't know what they got to do in these little cubicles. I don't think... Uh, I've never worked in a cubicle. I don't think I ever want to. <laughs> Biggie say, said to me that he kind of wishes he, he did work in a cubicle, which is a kind of weird thing to say. <laughs> I never heard anyone say that before. I think most people change their minds <laughs> after a few days. Oh, man. But I'm going to finish up these cubicles here, put a little chair in each one, and uh, that's going to be the video. I got a lot of work done. 
Make sure, guys, that when I'm building, you stay out of my face or I'm going to have to kick you. Why are you just standing there punching me and <laughs> punching the air? What are you trying to gain? If you want to say something to me, join the party. That's it. That's all you got to do. Join the party. If the party's full, I'm sorry. What can I do for you? I mean, I'm not going to kick somebody who's talking. You know what I mean? So just join my party. It's not always full. It's not always full. And just keep trying if you can't. People are coming and going constantly. Uh, I want to chat with all of you, but I want to chat with you. I don't want to have a text message conversation because I ain't, I ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> okay, but thank you for having time to watch these videos. I really do appreciate it. Keep your minds free and your bodies will follow. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.